Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Chaos, a Japanese thriller from 2000 that was directed by Hideo Nakata. Now this movie has some twists early and often, so it's kind of hard to talk about the plot. Therefore, I'm going to paraphrase the delicious description on the back of my DVD. When a successful businessman's wife, played by Miki Nakatani, vanishes, a sadistic and taunting ransom demand arrives and the police are summoned. As the true nature of the captor and his captive unfold, this movie fluidly transforms from a precision neo-noir into a thriller. Nothing is what it seems, neither pleading eyes nor bound wrists, a bandaged hand nor shallow grave, each step chaos takes leads to a suspenseful threshold more perilous and unpredictable than the last. I like that little uh, synopsis. But I'll say this right now. Chaos is Hideo Nakata's second best film, immediately behind Ring. I think this thriller is more interesting and entertaining than Dark Water. You know, possibly an unpopular opinion, but I stand by it. Now when I say thriller, I mean slow burn thriller. This is very Japanese, this film. You know, Japan really likes these uh, you know, deliberately paced films. They have a certain unease to them. You know, they're thrillers in a uh, in a, in a more deliberately paced manner. You know, stuff like Cure or Black Kiss, Angel Dust, A Night in Nude Salvation. Uh, even the Mike Yokohama films kind of have that, that quality to them. Now, Chaos is not as weird as some of those films. Uh, this one opts for more of a realistic, kind of twisty kidnapping plot. But I think it works really well. Now, the story is complex, all right? The story's complex. This is more of like a brain teaser. It makes you constantly think about what's happening and how things fit together. Because you'll, you'll have one interpretation early on, and then that's going to change, and then it'll change again as new information is fed to you. One thing to look out for are the abrupt flashbacks with no warning. Like, this movie does not tell you when it reverts to flashback mode, so you have to kind of figure it out. Uh, this is not a movie that uh, you just have on in the background while you're surfing the internet or playing on your phone. You have to pay attention when watching this one. But that's what makes it so interesting. Now, the characters make decisions that are consistent with the plot twist. So this is a well-written film. And uh, the events that unfold during the second half are very interesting, and I do think they make sense. I think this film makes sense. Script writing is very engaging. Uh, it really crafts a really nice mystery for you to figure out. And that's one of the film's biggest positives. Now, Miki Nakatani is one of those actresses who, I don't know, just a lot of the stuff that I've seen with her, she's consistently downplaying her looks, in my opinion. Uh, she's similar to like a Duna Bay or even a Hyojin Kong in South Korea in that regard. That, you know, she's an actress that's very willing to play characters who are not glamorized. You know what I'm saying? But in this movie, she is allowed to flaunt her looks a little bit, and it shows. Like, she's really freaking hot in this movie. Uh, I was a little bit even surprised, just because I've seen her in so many films where she just she's such so normalized, in a sense. I was like, man, this is a very attractive woman. Uh, just something to keep in mind there. And this is actually one of her best performances as well. She's allowed to do uh, a variety of different things, let's put it that way. Now, Masato Hagiwara is the male lead, and fans of the Kyoshi Kurosawa film Cure will recognize him as the serial-killing hypnotist from that film. Now, he plays the kidnapper in Chaos, but very different character. Very different character. He's allowed to show some other sides of his acting skills, which is cool to see. I, I feel like I need to look for more films with this actor in it, because I've only seen you know a small handful of stuff with him. Now, after you watch this movie, you will continue to think about it. Okay, And this is a film you probably need to watch a few times to get it, get all the details. And while you're thinking about it, you may recognize a few little uh, contrivances, a few little unrealistic elements here and there, but those elements are not large enough to really distract you while you're watching it. Uh, they're possible nitpicks, but not much else. <laughs> the ending of this movie is also a little bit weird. It is a little bit odd, but I liked it. So this movie does have its little uh, quirks here and there, but I think overall it's just a very solidly made film. I think it's one of Nakata's best. Like I said, it's his second best behind Ring, in my opinion. 
So if you like slow burn thrillers that make you think, check this one out. It's a cool flick. It's currently available on Region 1 DVD. That's the only, that's the only place I know where to get it right now. But it's worth a purchase because you can buy it uh, at a reasonable price. And as always, we'll see you next time.